Hi everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Today in this short video tutorial, we are going to discuss PCR. So without wasting time, let's begin. But wait, wait, if you are new in this channel, then why not you just uh, put away your anger by just clicking on subscription button, right? And uh, never forget to thumbs up, okay? If you like this video. So what we are talking about? Yes, we are talking about PCR. So let's start. Polymerase chain reaction. It is actually very important technique that develop and it revolutionized the molecular genetics and biochemistry. We can say that it is the second major breakthrough in DNA technology because first breakthrough is cloning. And in cloning, we also got the same purpose that we are obtaining from PCR, uh, like amplification. Our purpose here uh, of using PCR is actually amplification. And in cloning, we are also getting amplification. But uh, the difference is that in polymerase chain reaction, we are using non-living organism. Uh, I can say that it is a machinic process to get amplification. While in cloning, we are using E. coli, yeast, uh, I can say um, living organisms. Actually, both these techniques like cloning and polymerase chain reaction, means PCR, they are actually very major breakthroughs in DNA technology. So, uh, before going to other detail, let's discuss about the word. Word actually, the term polymerase chain indicated. So, this term consists of two words. First is polymerase and second is chain reaction. First, polymerase. Uh, polymerase, A-S-E, is the word which has A's ending. It represents the enzymes. Uh, actually, it's the uh, some suffix that indicates that uh, this is an enzyme. And uh, uh, we have many examples like uh, lipase, proxidase, amylase, lactase, maltase, helicase. These are actually enzymes uh, and their endings is representing that they are enzymes. Here we are going to word the detail of polymerase chain reactions. We are not going to study enzymes, what are they? So let's leave this, it's very common topic. So uh, what actually polymerase indicates? Polymerase is actually the enzyme which helps in the formation of polymers of any other molecule. Any other molecule may be DNA or RNA. And second is chain reaction. Chain reaction means uh, the reaction that is occurring in the form of chain. We can say that. And the, any reaction that is pro progressing in exponential way. Like uh, it is continuing. Um, if we have one copy of any molecule, then after one cycle, we got two. After two cycles, we got four. Three cycles, we got eight. After four cycles, we got 16. So after each cycle, we are getting the product in exponential form like 2 to the power in x form for example we have 30 cycles then we can get 1 billion copies up to get up to 1 billion copies can you imagine 1 billion copies after 30 cycles if we have just one copy of that segment of molecule that dna or that rna so actually polymerase chain reaction indicates that it is the amplification of some molecule if here, our uh, purpose is DNA and RNA. So, polymerase chain reaction is actually the amplification of our desired product, our desired DNA. Okay. Let's start the story of PCR discovery. Who discovered PCR? Who actually, who actually helps us to revolutionize the whole DNA technology? The discovery of PCR is actually not uh, just a random and actually quick process. It's just not like that. Oh, wow. And then it spreads all over the world. Not at all. First of all, discovery of structure of DNA. It was about in 1953 by James Watson and Francis Crick. We know very well. And after that discovery of DNA polymerase, because in this technique, we need polymerase enzymes. So before uh, we are using this, we have to discover. So uh, some um, scientist name in Arthur Cornock in 1956 discovered it. After that, uh, underlying description about PCR was given by the Gobit Kharana. And after that, our main scientist that is Karen Mullis. 
Aramulis was the uh, American born and he was working in a California uh, after PhD in a Cetus Corporation and uh, he was working with the scientist. Let me share a screen with you uh, in which uh, we have the work of Karimulis. Here it is. This is actually the paper article and uh, this is Kerry Mullis. He was, work he was working actually in the California in a city's corporation, Emeryville. And uh, there, uh, what is he working is actually, uh, his work is to synthesize oligonucleotides for the uh, groups, like working, many groups are working on it and uh, his work is to synthesize the oligonucleotides their purpose why they are synthesizing oligonucleotides actually their purpose was to uh, just uh, check the point mutations in human genes and what Gary Mullis has in his mind is that using Sanger sequencing technique uh, we can detect the point mutations he was working uh, at that time on this point but the uh, he was working on this but actually the drawback of uh, that time he uh, want to get the multiple copies of single gene but uh, at that time it's very difficult if we uh, say that by cloning so it was like uh, in his mind that uh, he has to overcome this problem so uh, he was on leave and uh, actually he was on not leave uh, it's the story of scientists like they want to explore the world uh, when they are working science like they want to give their minds the free time to explore the nature so that their mind may work very uh, freshly and it's actually a very unique and real idea if you want to uh, think about something and you are very confused, you are very perplexed, then just enjoy two, three days, your weekends or uh, your holidays. And at, in that holidays, in that holidays, you have nothing to do, just to enjoy and explore and observe the nature. Then you can get actually the results. So the same was that with uh, Karen Mullis. He was actually his girlfriend, uh, and um, uh, they are driving his holidays. He was driving uh, Honda Civic in highway, and in highway he just uh, you can say it comes to his mind that like opposite roads, if we just uh, make two primers and then anneal that two primers that are on opposite sides and then after annealing we can make multiple copies of that process that proper segment or any oligonucleotide that we get or that we want to get like that something so it was that time in 1985 when it comes to his mind and it was actually a very great idea and in this way idea of pcr was born Race, that's a very important and its name, name of this technique also contains the name of polymerase so it's very important but at that time uh, E. coli DNA polymerase was used and uh, they observed that uh, it denatured because in thermal cycler machine he designed actually and uh, he gave he also gave uh, that machine a name and that machine is thermocycler or thermal cycler and he named it as a Mr. Cycle and uh, in that machine, PCR machine, he used E. coli DNA polymerase, but this DNA polymerase denatured because we need high temperature to denature the double stranded DNA and at that temperature, DNA polymerase degraded. So, uh, so there was many problems there, but at the end, uh, Carrie Mollis is actually uh, isolated extremophilic bacteria that is Thermophilus aquaticus and tag polymerase that now we are using in our daily routine PCR machines, stacked DNA polymerase, actually he uh, come to know and isolated the uh, polymerase, stacked stack polymerase from the thermosecreticus bacteria. So this is actually the story, how PCR was actually born. So this is the end of our today's video. Allah Hafiz.